So much is said in consciousness teachings about being in the world, but not being of the world. It's a great concept. What does it actually mean? I mean, you want to live in worldly life. You want to have a career, family, you want to have some love and romance. And so how does the complexity and noise of worldly life meet the quietness and the simplicity of your inner life? You know, many spiritual teachings tell us that we need to withdraw from even abandon daily life to wake up to who it is we really are. I call that conscious one. Conscious two is a collection of teachings that support embodied awakening, support exploring who it is that we really are within the challenges of love and relationships, of career and worldly life, of even health and healing. Ultimately, Conscious 2 teaches us it is through worldly life that we have our greatest potential to wake up to who it is we really are. Part of what drove this obsession for me was that I had what I thought I wanted in worldly life. I had the penthouse apartment, I had a flashy car, I had all the things I thought I wanted, but it didn't feel the way I thought it should feel. I felt lost, I felt frustrated, I felt confused. What was even more confusing was that a number of years previously, I'd had a very connected inner life. I spent seven years suffering from a severe chronic illness. And through my recovery from that, I developed a very deeply committed meditation practice, yoga practice. I'd read hundreds and hundreds of books. I felt I'd known in a connection and I tasted worldly success. But how do those two things come together? Ultimately, Conscious 2 became my passion, became my path. It became the question that for myself, ultimately, I needed to answer. When it came to putting together Conscious 2 as a project, realizing that often the best projects are driven by people's own questions and own passions, I realized I wanted to open up that dialogue. I wanted to have an opportunity to ask the questions of other people, to have the dialogues that I really wanted to have in the hope that other people would be interested in hearing the results of those conversations. And that's really what Conscious 2 is. It's a collection of conversations, discussions, explorations around awakening within daily life. Ultimately, I think there are three things that support that. Number one, we need inspirational teachers. We live in a truly privileged time of Eastern meditation practices meeting Western psychology. There are some amazing teachers out there. And by pulling together some of those ideas in one place, hope to be able to support your practice and your experience. We also need to have effective practices. Knowledge is nice, but action creates change. And as part of Conscious 2, we hope to inspire you and educate you to develop the daily practices that will best support you. Number three, we need community. We're so much more powerful when we awaken together, when we support each other on that path and through our practice. Each day through the usual social media, we're releasing short bite-sized pieces from both content we're filming exclusively for Conscious 2 here in our studio, but also from our friends at Conscious TV. The idea being that you can have three or four minutes each day that you can watch these clips to support having inspirational teachings, support having practices, and connect with each other through the process. So if you want to be part of what we're doing, let us know how what we're doing touches you, affects you. If there's someone you think we should interview, then let us know at Conscious2.com.